and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and today we're going to jump right in it with Design Space so I can show you how we're going to do the offset for our upcoming Tumblr. So you want to click on the Shapes feature and click on Hearts. Now you can always change your mind and not do this one by clicking on Images and there's over 200,000 in which you can choose from if you decide you don't want to use the Shapes feature. So click on the top panel where it says offset and change the 0 0.25 to 0 0.08. Then click apply, but you can change the width by moving that dial back and forth. Now you wanna make sure that both of your hearts that are located in the control panel are selected. Go down to the bottom right hand corner and click slice. Remember, you can only slice two images at one time. Now we have three images in our control panel and we only need two. So now we're just going to highlight one and delete it. So I want to mention that if you do want to change sizes, let's do that before we move on to the make it. You want to make sure that you have both images selected at the same time when deciding on the size that you want. Once you're ready, go up to the upper right hand corner and click on the green button to make it. So now we're ready to go ahead and get ready to decal our tumblers. So the first things we're going to do is take some alcohol and really clean this up really really well making sure we don't have any fingerprints or any other residue that might be on this glass before we begin once our glass jars are nice and clean we're ready to start placing our vinyl so you can either place these randomly or have a plan in place like i did so for this particular jar tumbler, I decided to do three, two, three, two. I didn't do a pattern. I just decided to place these freehand and I didn't show the whole thing, but I do come back when I'm getting ready to place the offsets. When placing your finals, you really want to use your velvet side of your squeegee to really press these down really well and make sure that you don't have those little white air pockets. You'll soon see that I did have some of those, but I was thankfully able to get them out. Just be a little more mindful when placing these down. You can see through the glass, so you will be able to see the air pockets from the front as well as from the inside, if that makes sense. Just make sure you press them out really, really well, making sure you don't have any air pockets when you're done. Not to worry, you will see all the tumblers at the end and you will get to see the effects of the color changing vinyl. So before moving on, I just want to talk about these jars for a second. These are 16 ounce jars that I purchased off of Amazon. They do come with the bamboo lid that I'm not 100% sure of as they don't really seal that well. So just note to self, never try to pick these up by the lid. They also come with these glass straws, which I absolutely love. These are super popular tumblers right now and you do not need epoxy. So if you are epoxy sensitive and or you just would rather not work with epoxy, this is for you. Now this is a super cute daisy tumbler that I've already started and you'll notice again this is color changing vinyl. So that yellow is going to turn green and the white is going to turn blue. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of more daisies before I finalize this tumbler to be completed and then we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, so for this little cutie patootie, I am actually using Tech Wrap Holographic Vinyl for the background of my butterfly and I'm using just regular black oracle for the overlay. So this was the sneak peek that I put on my TikTok just the other day and I wanted to show you a different way of where you can collide the two images together before placing it onto your tumbler, which makes life so much easier. So you'll notice that I did one large butterfly already on the front that I definitely can see that I need to tighten up. And then I'm going to add two smaller butterflies on the back side. So with this technique, I decided to show you that I layered the two images together before placing it onto the tumbler. This is a one and done and makes it so much easier, especially if you're a beginner and you struggle lining things up. I really hope you're enjoying this video so far. And if so, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. And don't forget to click the bell for notifications for every time I launch a new video. 
And a big thank you to all my YouTube membership supporters. I cannot thank you enough and I really appreciate it. And if you're interested in my YouTube membership program, after this video, please click on that join button and see which perks works best for you. So I have deliberately saved the absolute best for last. I don't know if anyone knows this, and shout out to all those who did in advance. Know that you could put a clear cast decal onto these jars. So I clean this with alcohol just like I did the first three or four, and you can absolutely put a clear cast decal on. Yes, so I definitely did do the hinge method on this one just to make sure everything was gonna be nice and straight, and I also cut this down right up to the edge. I do this when I'm doing my epoxy tumblers, so I figured I would do this the same with the jars. These are waterproof, but you still do not want to put any of these jars in the microwave or in the dishwasher ever. These are only hand washable per the vinyl that we're using, and they will last a long time if you and or your customers take really good care of them. So once I rub everything down, I am so excited. I start to peel back the contact paper, which did give me a little bit of grief because I was rubbing this down so good, it wanted to stick to my contact paper. Not to worry, everything worked out and I was able to go ahead and remove it and everything turned out beautifully. I also want to mention this is an AB Designs, a clear cast decal, and I will have that link down for you in the description below. I want to thank you all so much for watching and be sure to find me on TikTok under Rebecca S. Scott, Facebook at Everything Tumblr Tutorials for continued learning. Remember, all the links from this tutorial will be in the description for you below. And this time, you don't have to worry about popping bubbles with your heat torch because this requires zero epoxy. So simply wash the tumbler and enjoy. Be sure to catch the end where you can see the color changing vinyl.